hi guys uh, today I, I would like to discuss uh, about your new reporting tool introduced by SAP that is uh, SAP uh, reporting tool which supports uh, Microsoft Office tools like uh, PowerPoint presentation and Microsoft Excel we have a reporting tool called analysis for Microsoft Excel this excel based reporting tool uh, it's very user friendly reporting tool was what uh, sap did uh, is uh, uh, sap released a lot of reporting tools recently which are very user friendly uh, like uh, uh, no need of uh, a skilled developer to develop a report uh, with all these reportings a, a business user can um, uh, themselves uh, create a report using these uh, microsoft excel based tools but okay but which are not very advanced in reporting uh, if somebody want to uh, analyze uh, so basic kind of uh, company data they can use this reporting tools let's see how we can work on this we will create a uh, simple report uh, to start work on this not i'm not going to create a complex scenario or complex report because uh, as a beginners we should know the very basics how to create a very simple report okay analysis for microsoft excel you can find in business intelligence folder in programs then it's different from other uh, like system to systems uh, the start menu may be different but the folder is same sap business intelligence in the sap business uh, business intelligence you can find a another folder sap business objects analysis click on that there you can find analysis for microsoft excel and analysis for microsoft powerpoint these two are um, office microsoft office based reporting tools uh, let's see how to create a report and how to import our data source uh, from the source system to our reporting tool as you already know reporting tools are not going to store any data in the database permanently uh, reporting tools are just going to read data from the source systems in runtime when we execute the report that uh, the actual data is coming from the source okay don't think that we are uh, saving uh, data in excel or powerpoint here okay click on this analysis for microsoft excel here you can see uh, you can see excel editor normal excel editor but uh, we have some special options here um, go to analysis go to analysis menu in analysis menu you can find a icon called insert where you can uh, import your uh, uh, olap uh, data sources like uh, info cubes or um, uh, analytical views and calculation views in hana info cubes in bw etc okay uh, to access those uh, data sources, uh, you just need to click on insert where you can find uh, uh, these are all recently used uh, uh, data sources. Uh, okay, let's forget about those two and select a data source. Click on select a data source. This login uh, pop up here. Actually, we don't, uh, we don't require to enter any details here, just skip this step. And in the, in the next step, you can see all configured systems here. These are all source systems where we can import our uh, data source, whether it is a cube or calculation view or uh, analytical view. Just select uh, the required system. And uh, for this example, I'm going to uh, import a, a calculation view from uh, um, model modeling view from HANA. That's why I'm just selecting HANA system. And click on next. Uh, so it, uh, you need to enter username and password in my case username is Hannah and I am going to enter password click on ok then you can see this select data source uh, pop up where you can search for data sources or you can just uh, go for folders in folders you can see all these uh, subfolders these are all called these are all called packages in HANA is each folder represents a package in SAP HANA Package represents modeling views. Modeling views called uh, in uh, HANA terminology, whether it is attribute view, calculation view, and analytical view. Okay, attribute attribute views are dimensions, and uh, analytical views are multi-dimensional models. Whereas calculation views 
we can uh, do some advanced calculations based on the analytical views by use, even we can use multiple analytical views in your calculation view so i'm just uh, trying to select a data source here the existing data sources i'm just trying to go for select a particular package for, for, for this example i'm selecting this hana underscore bods package there is a data source hana av underscore bvds uh, av means it may be a analytical view just select that and click on ok yes you can see here by default you are able to see measures apart from these measures you can see dimensions here in this scenario we have article id color code shop facts id shop id and week id these are all the dimensions available for this uh, multi-dimensional view uh, all these dimensions are designed in HANA what we call as attribute views in HANA based on these dimensions we can analyze these measure values okay by default you can see these columns uh, in columns section uh, you can see these measures uh, when we compare with other reporting tools like design studio and Lumira etc measures are going to be in a row section okay in general measures are uh, maintained in a row section and uh, attributes are maintained in column sections okay but this is little different if you want to change this uh, uh, access you can change here you can see this swap access option where you can uh, swap uh, uh, these measures into rows and attributes into columns okay for the time being I'm just select this swap access if you want it's an optional tool otherwise you can maintain uh, the attributes in uh, row wise row wise you can see if you maintain attributes in row you can see this report okay uh, article wise sales and uh, margin and quantity sold okay uh, you can add uh, multiple attributes also to analyze uh, based on the article and uh, color for each article there may, for example say uh, uh, car is a car is a article uh, we have multiple colors uh, uh, for each product like uh, uh, red color car white color car etc for in, in same model we have multiple colors right in the same way we can analyze that okay let's swap the axis and we'll analyze it swap select on swap axis you can observe that uh, you can observe that these are uh, swap like this so we need to maintain uh, dimensions in row row wise row in row column so we need to maintain dimensions in row row section so first i am selecting article id just want to analyze the article wise sales you can see this article wise sales uh, even though even uh, we can add color for each article uh, uh, for each article we may have multiple colors right for each item uh, uh, we, have, we, we have multiple colors we can analyze color wise sales for each article uh, even uh, we can add shop wise data also if you want to analyze shop shop wise sales shop is nothing but a outlet if you want to analyze shop wise uh, sales we can analyze here keep the shop in row wise uh, like row, row section you can see shop wise sales in shop number three sales is so and so margin is so and so and quantity is so and so these are all uh, available outlets okay uh, even in shop wise and week week wise for each uh, in each shop uh, what is the sales for each week each individual week we can analyze that and even color wise uh, outlet color wise and outlet wise these two columns are attributes like dimensions shop id and color code for each shop uh, we have uh, multiple articles with multiple colors these are all uh, color codes for each color what is the sold amount uh, here we can see the uh, sales amount for each color and shop id uh, in further level we can add article id also shop id and article id and color code in each outlet uh, in each outlet uh, what is the article wise sales and in for each article what is the color wise sales 
for article 128390 we observe here um, we have multiple colors 224 243 506 601 etc color wise we can see sales here even article wise this is article wise sales and this is color wise sales and yet the similarly for each uh, article we can see subtotals here you can observe some subtotals uh, you can observe this margin field uh, this value we are calculating dynamically this thing we are handling in HANA itself when we are uh, designing the HANA analytical views we are going to handle this uh, using some uh, calculated values using some expressions we will see that later yeah and you have another option if you want to export this into powerpoint presentation you can export this entire report into a presentation okay and even you can create uh, graphs here charts here you can create charts here just click on the chart and uh, sit here don't have enough space here in generally we may use any one whether it is a crash tab or a gra uh, chart we'll use uh, any one of it for the time and for, for the example purpose I'm just showing you both in the same report okay you can observe this uh, chart okay we'll just try to change the attributes here to see the differences in chart I am removing article ID and color code from the dimensions section then you can see color wise uh, sales here shop, shop wise sales here sorry not color wise shop wise sales here uh, if you click uh, if you place uh, if you place your mouse on the corresponding chart you can see total amount sold ok here red, red, uh, red represent margins you can see margin amount also you can just save it if you want save it in the desired folder that's why it's very user friendly even uh, a, a, a high level business user also can create these reports I'm just adding shop wise and article wise sales you can see the difference here for each article we can see the uh, sales data going to change in the both places even if you want you can add pie charts also you can see one more option you can observe this option create slide by clicking on this you can create a powerpoint presentation automatically with all this report data as I said earlier uh, these are very user friendly reports where uh, business user can develop themselves without the help of uh, developer yeah that's all for uh, this session we'll discuss about more futures in the coming sessions thank you thanks for watching